Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Ohio State Buckeyes offense takes the field to start this game off. And this big fella can beat you in a number of different ways in the passing game, David. Yes, yeah, so much fun to have a guy that I can rely on that can beat guys over the middle of the field, that can beat man-to-man -man coverage. This guy's the ultimate weapon. And I love that this guy has an awesome catch radius. You don't have to be perfect as a quarterback when you throw to him. He can make you look good. One of the great programs in the history of the sport, sort of built on the running game, but these days, these days, Ohio State defined by explosive pass plays. Yeah, and you can call yourself whatever you want. A lot of people claim different things like wide receiver you, but when you look at Ohio State, the past several years, going back 10 years probably, you can pick so many big names of guys who have been superstars, not only at the college level, but also at the NFL level. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Off play action. Let's it fly. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Hey, listen, the quarterback didn't get the completion on that throw, but that doesn't mean you can't try again. Trust in your playmakers outside to push the field and stretch it vertically and make a play for you. It won't surprise me to see this QB take more shots as this game goes on. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And I love the discipline on defense right there. Big third down. So everyone keeping their eyes on the quarterback, rallying to the ball, making a tackle. Great team defense. And the Buckeyes will bring the punt team onto the field. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. So the Georgia Bulldogs offense will take the field for the first time. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football in a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do. And you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much he'll test that cornerback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass. But he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's way. How many ways can I make you think, right? First drive, out the gates, get it to my playmaker, going full speed across the formation with a touch pass. You better be able to adjust to it. Then when you adjust to it, I'm going to have an adjustment to your adjustment because I'm always right. I'm an offensive guy. Feeling some heat. Not able to hook up there. Incomplete. And here comes the offense on second down. Looking to throw, it's back. Unloads to the wideout. Saw spot in the middle. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. An ill-advised play by that defender as he makes contact with the quarterback well after the throw, and it'll cost his defense. gets it out fast he's brought down solid pick up a little bit short of the first down well we knew coming into this game this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early so here they are just finding an easy completion it's not a touchdown but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a rhythm Aga trying to make this red zone trip pay off back to the air one more time caught over the middle it's Thomas and they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Well, this offense knew coming into this game they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. Georgia going back to work with another first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Works his way down to the 10-yard line after a pickup of three.
operating in the red zone here on second down. From the gun, the running back has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Dropping back, it's back. He's got it and still on his feet. They make the stop at the two, but he's got enough to give them a first and goal. How nice is it in this offense to have a tight end like that guy that can come up with plays for you all over the field? We just saw the big third down catch. He set him up here in the red zone. I like going back to him, maybe lining him and flexing him outside, getting a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for him to use his size advantage. I'll try to power it in. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, dogs! Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, I and mean, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back looking for help. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Option look, it's Howard. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Now on second down. Looking to throw a tower. Fires to the big fella. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. That's a really nice throw. When you think about being the starting quarterback at The Ohio State University with all the great players they've had here recently, what this offense expects from you. This is explosive passing attack. You've seen that now in recent years. They push the ball vertically down the field. This guy has the skill set. That's why he's out there on the field right now. And boy, was that pressure in his face immediately. Down he goes. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. That is the last thing you want on first down as an offensive sack. Now it's second down. He's looking to throw. Makes the catch. It's Smith. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Guys, it's Georgia holding the lead at the end of the quarter. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. They've spucked into the field, and we're ready to go in the second. They punted on their opening drive, and now they need a third down conversion to avoid punt, punt. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. The Buckeyes will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. 
And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. From the gun, the running back looking for room. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So he gets stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. Pulls it and fires to the left. The dogs pick up the first down through the air, and the Georgia faithful starting to howl and bark. And we've seen that in the past with Georgia. Maybe you get a little bit conservative, a little bit too much reliant on great defense, run the football. The reason that they broke through, the reason they started winning championships in the recent era, they became more aggressive, more dynamic throwing the football down the field. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Caught in the backfield, it's dealt. He stopped at the 49 after gaining 10. That is a really good-looking throw. You think about the expectation level now for quarterbacks at Georgia. Matthew Stafford was the number one pick overall. Stetson Bennett won two national championships. Imagine the pressure on this guy. But when you see throws like that, he makes you believe that he can step up and lead this team to yet another natty. Comes out throwing on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Lovett. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. Trying play action. Fires to the wideout. Grabbed in the middle. It's Thomas. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 for the first down. And how many first downs is that, guys? On this drive alone, this defense has got to find a way to get off the field. They're playing way too many snaps. The Dogs will line it up on first and 10. They run the reverse. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. For an offense, to make the wide receiver reverse work, you've got to have a lot of guys doing a good sell job. Running backs have to behave as if they're actually going to keep the football, and everybody else on offense has to be yelling out, run, to try to make the defense over-pursue, but no Oscars being handed out on that. Looking to throw, it's back. A strike downfield. And he's marked down right there, but a good pickup, and it'll be a first down. Really effective concept against the zone there, and it helps all the more, David, when you have a tight end that can get downfield. No doubt. Take your tight end, put him in the slot. Makes it easier, better matchup. Now he's got a good corner route. You can tell. Sticks his foot in the ground. Quarterback puts it up there. No, he's got zone. No, he's got the big fella. He goes up, catches the... And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Effective offense. Leading the way here and establishing this lead. And that's how you draw it up, right? You want to come out, be quick and early, get everything going. Way to get all the facets rolled. The defense right now on their heels. They have no answers. The offense doing whatever they want. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So they put together a nine-play, 75-yard drive. And the scoring play came on the 12-yard run. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. 
Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. The toss sweep to the right. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. The Buckeyes will punt it away on fourth down. On the move, it's Evans. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Here's the handoff. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. Using the quick game. He's brought down quickly. Minimal game there. Still a bit short of the first down. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in. We can run out and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And the missed connection on third down. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? Georgia sends out the punt team. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be conserved. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. To the air, it's Howard. Throws to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. When you're a quarterback and you throw a comeback route, you really trust your wide receiver, and he's going to do what he's supposed to do. Obviously, all the way out towards the sideline, making it look like he's running way down the field. Nice connection between quarterback and wide receiver. He's going to pass. Got it in the middle. It's Henderson. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Trying to find his man on first down. Complete downfield. What a throw. Not a lot of room. He fits it in beautifully, and they've got it at the 30. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. Starting to get things moving, it's first and 10. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. Couldn't make the play last time. Now it's second and 10 from the 30. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Wide open downfield. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. 
I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. They'll rush to the line. Clock stopped for the first down. They'll set the chains and wind the clock. The snap sets up the throw. He makes a grab. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Ohio State. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Getting set for the point after. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, men. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Athens. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas between the hedges in Sanford Stadium. And the Buckeyes will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football. With that. I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. Makes the grab. It's Thomas. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. He saw man coverage and the idea, just get it to my receiver as quickly as I can and let him work, David. See man and, and see the cushion and see the guy backed up a little bit. Now I know I can get it to him right now and get a positive gain. Catch in the middle, it's Bell. Love to see these third down conversions on offense and they're out to their own 39-yard line. Third down, a lot of times, it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding it. On the ground, it's Etienne. He has the first and still on his feet. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. In halftime in this locker room, there's a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. Caught in the backfield, it's Bell. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. And now on second down for this offense. The play action fake. Unloads to the wide out. It's caught downfield. 
Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. The Dogs have had a long history of scrappy and efficient quarterbacks. Add a little star power to it, and you've got something working. You definitely get a little extra something, something. We see it all across college football. You find that dude at the quarterback spot. It takes you from good to great, and you've seen that with Georgia over the last several seasons. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. Fires to the middle. It's caught. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Really nice job by quarterback and wide receiver. This is why you do film work. This is why you throw on air all offseason. I know I get zone coverage. I know exactly where I'm breaking. I know exactly where to deliver the football. Nice throw, nice catch. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Catch in the middle. It's Lovett. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Movement here from the tight end. Looking for a man. It's back. He wants it all. Touchdown, Georgia. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. I tell you, when this drive started, the defense thought they had them in a hole. Not anymore. What a performance. And I really like the play calling by the offensive coordinator on that last drive. That was a nice mixture of running and throwing and getting different players involved. Really nice job. Very poised in that play calling, and it showed up with a touchdown. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to pay I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. The gift to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And he tried to do all he could. He broke one tackle, but my goodness, guys were hitting him left and right in the backfield. This is a staple for any good defensive coordinator. They want their guys to swarm to the football to gang tackle if one guy misses, another one's there. No doubt. And the staple for the offensive coordinator and the offensive line coaches block those guys. Don't watch them tackle other guys. He'll keep it himself. Well, this defense knew that they were going to be seeing some option in this game, and right now everybody's doing a nice job playing their assignments. On the third play of that drive, they were expecting it, and everyone communicating and all rallying to the football. That was nice to see it through the coaching staff. The Buckeyes will punt this one away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He's got great speed. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31.
Well, guys, it's Georgia holding the lead at the end of the quarter. This has been utter domination through three quarters, and the stats will back that up. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Offense threatening, first and ten from the 31. Finds his tight end. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Second and short now after that completion. To the air. It's back. Makes his connection. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. The Bulldogs have it with a first and ten. They'll put the tight end in motion. Using his legs at CTN. Oh, the ball's on the ground. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Man, you go from perfect position of strength. I get to salt this clock away. I get to run this out. I'm going to win to... Man, now I got to put my defense back on the field, and you, anything can happen, right, in football, and you can catch breaks, and so now you got to go out and earn it. You had this thing under wraps. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Tom. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive, so they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. The Buckeyes want to crank the tempo. Off play action on first down. Going up top. Ball in the air, intercepted! Ripping through the defense. He's out of bounds, showing off the hands on the pick, and then the nifty moves on a terrific return. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. After that last drive, he came back to the sideline and the coach probably said, you dropped it? You didn't pick it up? Come on, get on the ball, David. No, nah, that's not what he said. He said, you're doing a great job. Just keep your head up. Oh, yeah, he got blasted. You've got to hold on to the football, Palmer. Turnovers to side games, those are big plays. It's tough on him, too, because he knows he let his offense down on that last drive. So you know that guy's eager and anxious to come out here and make a play. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. Smart move to keep it on the ground. Knocked down at the 29 after a pickup of four. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you'll look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tired. Motion from the offense. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. Getting some heat. Nowhere to go with the ball, and down he goes at the 39. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. So they're going to send out the field goal unit to try a long way. And if they can make this and turn it into a three-score game, they'll have this one all but locked up. 
splits the uprights from 56, and he's got three on the board. Well, it's a good news, bad news scenario. You got the pick, and you would have liked to have paid that off with a touchdown, but because it, the drive stalls out, we're still happy to get the field goal. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive there. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. And the Buckeyes want to move quickly. Back to throw, it's Howard. Unloads to the right. Got him downfield. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires a bullet. It's picked off. Looking for more room. At the 20. Touchdown, dogs. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. And man, the offense has the lead, has the football. All you got to do is run the clock out, maybe be conservative, run the football. They chose to throw, and the defense makes them pay. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six and that defense will come out feeling it. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Wants to throw on first down. This one has pretty much been a bludgeoning, but they'll try to finish with something positive late. Well, they ran into a buzzsaw today, and I don't think it would matter what type of X's and O's they're out there executing, David. Jimmy's in the Joes. They just, they're just not as good as the opponent today. And as an athlete, it sometimes hits you in the face and it stinks, but you're not good enough. And today, they were not good enough. And I'm going to do the best I can to try to flush this down the toilet, not remember it, forget it, move on for the next game. Maybe something right here I can create positive that carries over to practice and maybe next week. Second down coming up. Back to throw, it's Howard. Looking down the middle. Where did he find a hole in that secondary? And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Well, the tight end's trying to work the middle of the field. Nobody even close to him in coverage. It's not going to get any easier than that for the quarterback. That's an easy first down. The Buckeyes will snap it on first and ten. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. After ripping off a huge chunk of yardage, now they've got it first and 10 from the 13. They'll throw it from the red zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put 
all the facets of defense together run defense past evens they've been so good man dialed in you could tell they were ready they were fast they were physical they dominated this football game after the incompletion they go back up top with the catch it's henderson that completion will take it close to the five yard line they'll mark it at the six and listen, the defense playing really conservative, right? You got the lead, but here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get sacks. I got to get to the quarterback. Like, I got to make sure I'm getting him, knocking him off the spot. Patting my stats, by the way. Got a lot of sacks late in games and had a big lead, but that's okay. That's what you're supposed to do. Keep competing, defense. Looking for the score. Grab near the marker. It's a Buka. Into the house. Touchdown, Buckeye. And a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It, it would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense, continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. And they'll try to tack on two. Trying to barge their way in. He's not going to make it in, and the decision to go for two does not work out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. 